Mr. Speaker, uh, here's a very simple way to measure it up. Right here from the Parliamentary Budget Officer's report. The total gross cost of the carbon tax in Ontario is $1,674 for this coming year. $1,674. $1,674. $1,674. How much is the rebate? <laughs> <laughs> with record setting wildfires last year, with flat- There we go! How much is the rebate, dude? It's like twelve hundred bucks. You had a deficit of four hundred. You're not getting more money back from the government, you idiot. Good suggestion, the Honourable Prime Minister from the top. Mr. Speaker, with record-setting wildfires across the country, with droughts, with floods, Canadians know the costs of the impacts of climate change. The Leader of the Opposition has no plan to fight climate change. He's not proposing anything except, Mr. Speaker, to pull away both the price on pollution, which forces polluters uh, to pay right across the country, that puts more money through checks that arrive four times a year in Canadians' pockets in where in the in the jurisdictions where there is a carbon price. We have a plan to fight climate change and put money in people's pockets. He has no plan. There you go. He goes crazy. The and he snaps. The opposition. Whoa. I don't need to, he doesn't need to get angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking some numbers here. Just some numbers. Right? So he was very anxious to talk about these wonderful rebates up until a moment ago. And now he doesn't want to say a thing about it. He even gave him a fancy new name. I'm going to say it again. In Ontario, the gross cost of the carbon tax is $1,674 for the average family. $1,674. How much is the rebate? Just the number. The right honourable Prime Minister. Oh, God, don't, don't be using the chat for Pierre. You have to get angry about climate change. I'm sorry, Mr. Speaker. Canadians are worried and angry about climate change. They see the wildfires cutting across this country last summer that are already started up uh, in Alberta. He sees the droughts, they see the floods. They have no plan. Their plan is to withdraw the, uh, the, the four times the, 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 the. that land in the bank accounts of Canadians, that the Parliamentary Budget Officer uh, demonstrates uh, gives more money to eight out of ten families right across the country in jurisdictions where it's applied. Mr. Speaker, we have a plan. He doesn't. Yo, I need to see WTF and W's in the chat for Pierre. Where's the funds and W's? The NDP Liberal Prime Minister is not <laughs> worth the cost of food, as we were reminded by a tragic report by Second Harvest that came out this week showing that they will be, there will be an, another million extra visits to food banks above last year's record-breaking numbers. Wow. This because of the collusion of the NDP Liberals on a price fixing, that is the carbon tax. Will the Prime Minister cancel his April 1st 23% carbon tax hike on food? Oh my God. Prime Minister. Speaker, as one of the Conservative leaders' own MPs recognized, there is absolutely no data or proof to link uh, their theory around the price on pollution and uh, the price of groceries. But if they actually cared about affordability for Canadians, they would have voted in favour of uh, dental care for our most vulnerable seniors, for uh, young families uh, that can't afford to send their kids to the dentist. That's what we are delivering. We'll they are we voting against. Eat. They wouldn't be stalling on the competition reforms, uh, reforms to ensure that we're actually moving forward on greater competition to stabilize grocery prices. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Mr. Speaker, after eight years, this NDP Liberal Prime Minister is just not worth the cost of food. It's not just that uh, two million people a month can't afford groceries and are forced to line up at food banks. It's just now that those food banks are running out of food and Canadians are diving into dumpsters. Literally, there's yeah. an 8,000 8, member Facebook group called the Dumpster Diving Network. Shame. How can the Prime Minister look those people in the eyes and raise taxes on their food when they're eating out of garbage cans? Yeah. Yeah. The right Honourable Prime Minister. 
Speaker, we recognize that many Canadians are facing extremely difficult times, which is why we're continuing to step up our supports across the country uh, for food banks, uh, for, uh, for programs, uh, and for supports for vulnerable Canadians. This is something that we have taken seriously and we will continue to. At the same time, Mr. Speaker, we're continuing to move forward on concrete measures to help Canadians, like dental care, like pharma care, like child care. These are things that the Conservative Party continues to vote against uh, in terms of helping vulnerable Canadians, in helping with affordability. He's there to instrumentalize vulnerable Canadians and try and play politics off of them. He's not there to... We don't want government handouts. We want cheaper costs of living. Mr. Speaker, that's the best answer he can come up with after eight years of record food price increases that has forced people not just to food banks, but to literally jump into dumpsters and bring their phones that they can network on Facebook to share tips on how to eat out of garbage cans in Canada. Life was not like this before this Prime Minister, and it won't be like this a after he's gone. In the meantime, we'll at least have the humanity to cancel his April 1st 23% tax hike. Damn, dude! Right on Let's drop some W's in the chat, folks, for Pierre. Farmers across this country know the impacts of climate change on uh, the food supply in Canada, on the growing and production of food. Uh, these are things uh, that we are fighting against by fighting against climate change and putting more money in the pockets of Canadians right across the country. We will continue to be there uh, with support for food banks. We will continue to be there with support for vulnerable Canadians. Now, the leader of the opposition loves to talk about uh, them and try and score political points off of these vulnerable people, but he is offering no real solutions for them as we continue to step up and deliver. Trudeau makes people, people vulnerable, to coast. and Pierre provides a solution. Selon <laughs> l'organisme. According to the Second Harvest Organization, there, is something there have that's been an additional deranged one Justin million Trudeau. visits, or there will be one million additional visits this year due to food inflation. These additional visits to food banks have been caused by the Prime Minister. According to some experts, the Prime Minister should at least freeze the carbon tax, but the Bloc Québécois has voted to radically increase the taxes on the farmers who produce our food. Will the Prime Minister ignore the Bloc Québécois for once, cancel the costly coalition, and axe the tax on food? The Right Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, no party in this House needs to be preached to by the Conservative Party when it comes to helping vulnerable people because the Conservative Party just wants to lower taxes on the wealthy, help out well-heeled people, and not support vulnerable Canadians, whether with food banks, dental care, child care, seniors. We know that the Conservatives only have austerity and cuts to offer. We will continue to be there for people and fight climate change. 